getting to the other side and cheating, trying to give yourself a competitive advantage. When you start doing that on a consistent basis, first of all, you're telling the NFL, mm, I see your rules, don't care about them, I'm too smart for that. We're going to do what we want to do because we are who we are. If that's the case, you then have to start hitting them hard. And I've mentioned this before. You're talking about taking away multiple draft picks. You're talking about hitting the salary cap. I'm not talking about finding the team. If that, if they have been found, as we go through this, one of my coaches, a lot of my coaches have told me this because of how I play the game. Sometimes you have to let the game come to you. Don't force it. Right. Don't force it. That's why I said I'm going to regress. I'm going to digress. Excuse mm -hmm. me. And step back, and I'm gonna since nobody's gonna come out and say anything right now. I'm gonna wait till all the information comes before out you make a decision. before I make that judgment. But I'm just telling you, if those two things are the case, okay, or if the ball boy um, is the, the scapegoat, so to speak, mm -hmm. once again it falls back on the organization. Right. And so then that sanctions of the draft picks and even maybe that a salary cap hit comes. But Brian, play. doesn't mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong. Cheating doesn't happen more often than we believe it happens in the league. And doesn't it happen a lot? Like this whole thing. With the, the underinflated footballs, I'm sure it's common. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. My mom used to always say this to me. If your friends ran and jumped off the bridge, <laughs> would you run and jump off I would the not. bridge too? I would, I would not. not. So just because everybody's doing it does yeah. not mean it make it right. And the problem with that is, that argument, if you then get caught, you can't then bring in the fact that I'm just flowing with traffic. Even though I'm speeding, I, Mr. Officer, I know I was speeding, but I'm just flowing with traffic. No, you were speeding, here's your ticket. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with that. Mm -hmm. And then when you've already broken, like I said, when, however you want to deem it, if it's a misdemeanor or whatever, the first offense, but you still have now had a history of doing things that try to give you a competitive advantage. So now the commissioner has to do what he's actually said he's going to do as far as being sterner and harsher on, on violators. Mm -hmm. All right. Stephen A. Brian Dawkins is uh, reserving a judgment until the investigation is completed until we learn more. Your take on what should happen? I have nothing to add, to be quite honest with you. If Bill Belichick is found to be uh, the instigator and the, perp and the perpetrator of all of this, he should be suspended for the year. If Tom Brady uh, had something to do with this, I don't know what to say about it because Tom Brady is Tom Brady, and this would be something that would be a complete aberration and an anomaly uh, compared to anything uh, on his record. He has an impeccable reputation, an impeccable record. Uh, he's never been associated with anything underhanded or anything like that in his career. It would shock me. And so you got to punish him. What that punishment should be for a first-time offender, which I think he would fall under, I don't know. But if it were Belichick, I would suspend him for the year. Outside of that, I really have nothing to add. Hmm. You know, it's still difficult for me to equate deflating a football with purposely trying to injure a quarterback and knock him out of the NFC Championship game, Brett Favre, Understood. Understood. Minnesota at mm -hmm. New Orleans. What was the line that Goodell used about Sean Payton? I ignorance is not an excuse, not right? Okay. Okay, so that, that could apply here also. Yeah. So in the big picture here, I, I, again, I look back at, at the penalties levied on the Saints, and, and I thought they were justified. I don't know what, do you, do you recall thinking they were I thought they, they were, were harsh. harsh. Too harsh? I thought, yeah. they, I thought they were oh, harsh. Really? Mm -hmm. I okay. thought they were harsh. Um, Stephen A. and I went back and forth about that. But I, look, he, here's the problem with this one brought this up to start the show and I'm going to bring it up again. The NFL is a little bit complicit here in this cheating scandal because starting in 06, thanks to Tom Brady and Peyton Manning pushing, the NFL gave the quarterbacks great leeway in how they prepare the footballs. They can do anything to them. They can soak them. They can scrub them. They can put liniment on them, whatever they want to do. They can practice with them. They can warm up with them to get them exactly the way they want them, except there was one condition that the, the, the pressure of the football had to be between X and X. Right. Anything below that, okay? So then why would the NFL have a referee go check that pressure two hours and 15 minutes before a game? You are inviting shenanigans mm -hmm. in, in a league of dog eat dog, yeah, right? right. It, of, of win at all costs. Sure. Then, then you're giving the team back the footballs yeah. that, that they could do, to do pretty what? much anything yeah. because you're not going to really check them again, and the refs have too much in their heads. 
during the game as the balls are lobbed in, into play, they, they don't know. They, they touch the ball. They're going to say, uh-oh, this one's two, two pounds per square inch. No, they don't know that. So, so you're, you're asking for trouble. Obviously, the, the fix to all this, and this will come down in the offseason, I'm pretty sure. Bill by, Polian's by idea. The, yeah, well, <laughs> well, well the, the first thing you have to do is, yeah. you, once you check the pressure of the footballs two hours and 15 minutes before the game the referees then get to have the foot that they're going to take them and keep them in their possession right. until the start of the game it may preclude being able to warm up with those footballs but that's okay because we would all rather ensure the integrity of the game to have the referees simply watch over the footballs until they are kicked off or that'll be a kicking ball but until they are put into play right, right? Uh, okay that's pretty simple yeah, to me yeah. okay so the nfl screwed this up a little bit also and, and because they gave the quarterback so much leeway, because what does the NFL want? In the end, they want points scored. They want passes completed. You know this better than anybody. So whatever the NFL can do within its rules to get the quarterback at a higher and higher level, it's going to do. Sure, the, the NFL probably thinks, you know, gee, if Tom Brady can throw a football that's slightly underinflated, we, we love it. Yeah. You know what? If Aaron Rodgers wants it slightly overinflated, we love it. Right? right? If if whoever wants it, whatever, you, you know, it's to the point where this all doesn't make a lot of sense because in the end, they want points scored. Passes completed, well, right? And I think that's one of the reasons a lot of people consider this to be, like, silly that we're talking that's about. What, that's what I'm saying, that, okay? Exactly. So, so we're talking about trying to knock Brett Favre out of the football game versus right. scoring but, points, yeah. but, right? But, but as of right now, I get it. it is a rule. It is. All right, it is I the know. law. You can't so break okay. the rules. You cannot break the rules, but I understand what you're saying. It's to give well, the ball back, and I think it goes back to, you know, you're playing golf with somebody, somebody kick, they call them being pencil whoop. You know, yeah, you're, uh, exactly. yeah. You kind of Okay, now that's just, just flat out that's, blatant that's flat cheating. Out that's, that's yeah. flat out wrong. Or, or improving yeah. your lie on the rough. That's, that's wrong. That's well, cheating. I'm sorry. I'm well, well, <clears throat> what I want to say about it is that, Skip, they're not comparing trying to intentionally injure a player to deflating footballs. What they're saying is, is that you intentionally try to cheat. So some people, that's a far bigger issue than anything. I think as, as much as egregious as you and I may feel about the thought of, of, of bounties being put on players and players intentionally trying to injure other players because of the violence that exists within the sport of football, the testosterone filled sport that it is, the average viewer that isn't on that field accepts that. Because they're thinking guys are going after guys all the time. That's just the way it goes. That's the world they're living in. But when it comes to cheating, there are some people yeah. that view that as more egregious than anything because you are taking away the very fabric of what sports is supposed to be about. That's fair, equitable competition. Okay. But and when you, je when you jeopardize that or compromise that, okay. some people I'm, judge that harshly. I'm with you. Some, some equate it to PED use. The, the, to deflate the football would be, in the, I think it was Chris Canty who said that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it possible, Stephen A., that the NFL allowed this over the last maybe even 10 years to become a wink-wink rule where, where everybody just just did whatever they really wanted to. There was no policing. There was no crackdown. Nobody else has ever been busted for this that I'm aware of, right? Yeah. Well, so so my, is my, it possible my, the NFL is saying, gee, we, how can we crack down on these guys when everybody's well, been, been bending this rule for 10 years? My, my, my problem with that assertion, Skip, is that if indeed that's what the NFL did, then it would be very, very easy for them to admit that so we could all get on with talking about the Super Bowl. It's a big deal because it's perceived yeah. as a flagrant violation yeah. of a hard and fast rule right. by the NFL. Yeah. So if the NFL was loosey-goosey with it, if a matter of fact, and it, 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 to save the Super Bowl, to be quite honest with you, if I were the NFL, I would consider saying, we don't know why y'all making a big deal out of this. It was a wink-wink <laughs> rule for us, you know? Yeah. I mean, you're not supposed to do it, but it really wasn't a big deal. Okay. Let's move on. Because if the NFL had done that, Brian, you tell me. Right. If the NFL had come out Monday yeah. and said that, this wouldn't be being talked about today.
Yeah, well, it, it probably still would be because of all the shenanigans, well, not shenanigans, all the, the way that they butchered things this past offseason. So but I'm talking about to this level. To the depth of what we've been getting to this thing, yeah. we probably would. Well, guys, we're throwing football guys, and checking PSIs. Yeah, we, yeah, we would not Guys, be guys, about we might be talking about yeah. it on ESPN and stuff like that. I wouldn't be getting calls from CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, exactly. and everybody else treating this like it's world news tonight. <laughs> I, that wouldn't be happening. Yeah. Especially with your point, though. Especially yeah. with your point. If it's been something that everybody's been doing for a while, it was no mm -hmm. big deal, and all of a sudden someone gets caught from it, now it's a huge deal. All right, this is our, that's on us as the NFL. Yeah. We've got to do a better job of clamping down. This is going to be the rule going forward, period, done, set, match. I'm never going to look at PSI again the same. It won't be the same. That, 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 PSI. Never. PSI. I've never PSI. heard of PSI. Until now, right? Everyone ago. knows about it. Um, Brian Dawkins, next time I see you, hopefully we're talking about the results of Super Bowl 49. Absolutely. Coming up next, folks, we're going to the NBA. LeBron has been dethroned, so to speak. Find out what that means after the break.